Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be exposing how the mental health industry is a giant scam. And the reason I'm doing this video is because, well, because I'm spiritually reborn, one thing I believe I have is a good spiritual discernment. And when certain things happen, if something feels off, then my discernment tells me to avoid it or that something's up. I smell a rat, as the saying goes. Just as what happened with COVID with the certain treatments and all the things happening, I knew something was up. I smelled a rat, so I steered clear of certain agendas that were going on. And it's the same thing with mental health. There seems to be a big push for mental health. And uh, it's almost like they want people weak and they want people to go and get therapy and counselling, but not to help them, but to keep them weak. And don't get me wrong, there are obviously some good mental health practitioners, but I find it's similar to the medical industry in that there are some good doctors and some good things. Like in our NHS, they do amazing surgeries and emergency units. That's all good. But on the other side, you get big pharmaceutical companies and big pharma who run it. So they're all always uh, promoting pills. And I think the mental health industry is similar to big pharma in that a lot of it is corrupt. A lot of it, they want you weak to take your money as the big pharmaceutical industry wants to keep you sick to keep your money. And a classic example, if you go to your doctor for mental health, they're likely to prescribe you pills when you're not, they're not getting to the root cause of the problem. They're just making money out of you. And the same with mental health practitioners. They're not really resolving your problems. Most of them, from what I study, they're just taking your money. They want you to sign up to their services, sign up for five sessions. They don't want to cure you in one or uh, cure you in one or two sessions. They want you to stay sick, keep coming back, keep giving me money. That's what they're saying to you. And I think a lot of it is done purely out of ignorance because they're not aware that it's a spiritual problem. Depression and all that stuff is a spiritual problem, not a mental health problem, in my opinion. And partly because they're slightly corrupt and greedy rather than having the love to help people and then making money on the side rather than their main focus is money. And then I oh, will help people. They see it as a business rather than a passion to help people, which can make a little bit of money to help them live their life. And I look at, for example, I go onto YouTube to study and there's some uh, mental health experts there. And watching one video was millions of views. The, uh, co the comment the woman was saying on the video was, if you need help, make sure you seek professional help. And the top comment in the comment section was, advice, seek professional help. Professional help costs $400. And then it's like, I'll stay depressed. And people cannot afford mental health practitioners. Even I looked in the UK, they want you to, this better health or better mental health, whatever it was, their services, they want to charge you $70 a week, not a month, a week to sign up for their program to hook you up with therapists. And people don't have that as $280 a month. People do not have that money, especially cost of living prices. People are suffering. And they just don't have the money to uh, afford the help. But we need to provide free services to help people. And in my country, the UK, we do have the National Health Service, which obviously includes mental health. But we have 1.8 million people, adults, awaiting help and 270,000 young people awaiting mental health. And uh, they can wait up to a year. I think the average is probably around eight months. And you can just imagine all the suffering, pain and suicides that have been caused due to the waiting list. And then you obviously have people want to go private, but they can't afford it. So the whole situation is a mess, especially considering that the mental health thing is, I believe, a bit of a scam. And that's why I believe it's a spiritual health issue. Once you sort your spirit out, everything else will fall into place. And that's why I give spiritual advice and I will be setting up very soon a mission to help these people. So anybody who has mental health or thinks they have mental health, depression problems, I will be helping people for free and only taking donations to help build the movement and grow the movement and cover any fees that I need to cover. If I need to get offices or do this work, I'll just be accepting donations. 
and uh, everybody will be helped for free because my main focus is on helping people, not making money. And for my subscribers to this channel, just to give you a heads up, I will be changing the name of this channel to Spiritual Health Awareness. It's something I've realized that it's Mental Health Awareness Week. And I've always been saying it's a spiritual health problem. And then I was thinking, oh, I'll do a spiritual health awareness. And then I looked it up and I can book those names in for websites and stuff. So I will be changing the name of the channel to Spiritual Health Awareness. And ultimately, I set up this channel to help people and to help the depressed, the lonely, the mental health suffering, and to give a spiritual message. And uh, my channel's generally gone in the line of just discussing religion and theology, obviously spiritual stuff as well. But ultimately, I want to reach out to as many people suffering as possible. And the goal is to do videos to help people to set a website up where people can book appointments and get free help, uh, do courses, do Zoom meetings, do live streams where people can call in and a community where people can be helped. And also there's some subscribers who follow me who are very smart and spiritually wise who could maybe come and help get involved uh, at some point in the future once it grows because I'm not going to be able to do it all myself. I'm going to need some other people who are spiritually wise to help others and uh, they can come and join on the mission. And maybe just as these other services, you can come and help people and uh, you can be hooked up to donations. So anybody who helps with the services, people can donate. And the good thing is if the, if the services we provide, they don't like, then they're not losing out anything. You just don't donate. But if people are taking their time out to help others and they can just donate tiny amounts to either people or to the organization to help grow it and help as many as people as possible. OK, so that's the point of my video today, just to expose the mental health industry and to say we need to start a spiritual awareness campaign. And that's what this channel will be doing moving forward. And if you are suffering from mental health or, or mental health problems or depression, keep subscribed to the channel. I will be providing lists of uh, details of hopefully courses. I'll be providing a website and an email you can reach out. And I'll reply to you to try and help you. And this will all be coming in the future. So stay tuned for more. OK, and uh, usual stuff. Subscribe to the video, to the channel. Like the video if you like it. Comment below if you have any ideas to help with this movement. And God bless everyone for now. Goodbye.